The IRS is sick and tired of people avoiding their taxes, so of course it's going after small businesses. Starting in 2022, if your business account on apps like Venmo, Zelle, PayPal, or Cash App receives more than $600 in a year, you will receive a 1099 form at the end of the year. To put this into perspective, the previous threshold was $20,000. But some people use contactless payment apps for business and personal use. So reporting will definitely be complicated. Now, business owners have always had to report earnings over $600. So with this move, the IRS claims to be aiming for more honest reporting. But we cannot forget the Pandora Papers, which exposed how rich people hide their money from tax collectors. The United States was revealed, excuse me, to be a tax haven for these wealthy people. So why would the IRS go after $600 payments from very small business owners instead of the billionaires hiding their real income? Wow, a lot to unpack there. Number one, it's not an apples to apples type of thing because with wealthy people, a lot of times they don't actually take any real income. A lot of them have entities that operate at losses in very creative ways, de depreciation, different write-offs that allow you to not actually report any profits and therefore you don't have to pay any taxes. Just think about, you remember pre, uh, prior to Donald Trump running for president, it came out that he only paid $750 in income tax, which is very common for real estate developers of that magnitude because if you always have a real estate construction project that's not making any money, but you're pouring money into it, once it's done, it will start making money, but before that it won't, so you will report losses. It's just how it works. So it's, it's a different conversation. Again, if you see a guy like Elon Musk with his stock value, he became the richest guy in the world for a brief period, the stock value goes up, but as long as he doesn't sell it, he doesn't have a capital gains tax to pay because he hasn't realized the gains. Does it make sense? So it's a different type of thing. Now, to avoid getting in trouble with the IRS with this type of thing, anything over $600, just make sure you get your fares in order, have a CPA, use a bookkeeping software service. It's very easy, it's very affordable, and it's actually a really good exercise, whether you're a small business, solopreneur, entrepreneur, if you have 10 employees, either way, it's a good way to organize your books so you stay ahead of the situation just in case they're gonna come with even more rules that might catch you off guard.